To start the standardization, I'll pipette exactly 10.0 mils of the 0.01 molar THAM or TRIS standard into a clean beaker. I can standardize with one to five portions of standard. I like to use three portions, so I'll repeat the pipetting until I've prepared three beakers. Titrating three portions of the standard increases my confidence in the standardized value that will be determined for the titrant and increases the accuracy of the subsequent sample titrations. Next, I'll add about 60 ml of reagent grade water to each of the beakers of standard. The reagent grade water brings the volume up to a level that will cover my pH electrode without adding any interference to the titration. Before standardizing, I'll rinse the electrode, dispenser, stirrer, and ATC probe thoroughly with reagent grade water. This prevents any carryover from a previous titration that might contaminate the standards. Then I'll titrate the first beaker of standard. It's important to immerse the dispenser into the standard before starting. Then I select the standardize option from the titration pre-check screen. A live display of the titration appears on screen, showing the volume of the titrant which will be dispensed and the pH of the sample as the titration proceeds. The titrator begins a pre-stir and starts measuring pH. When the pH reading stabilizes, the initial pH of the standard is displayed. Then the titrator begins to make automatic additions of titrant, which I can see happening in the live display screen. Titrant is added, the pH is sensed, and the process continues automatically until the titrator senses the endpoint and ends the titration. Here I can see that the inflection of the titration curve has started and the endpoint is near. When the first titration cycle is done, the results are displayed. At this point, I can touch complete to end the standardization, or I can titrate another beaker of my standard, which is what I'll do. So I'll rinse the dispenser, electrode, ATC, and stirrer thoroughly with reagent grade water to remove any carryover from the first titration. This is an important step for accurate titrations, so I don't rush it. Then I'll set up the second beaker of standard that I prepared earlier and choose Run the Second Cycle to start the second titration of the standard. As we saw before, the titrator begins the pre-stir, measures pH, and starts the titration. When the second cycle is done, the results of cycle 1 and cycle 2 are displayed. Since I'm going to run three beakers of standard for this titrant standardization, I'll rinse and continue. I like to run three titration cycles for standardization, because that increases my confidence in the results. The titrator will automatically calculate and display the average concentration of the titrant and the percent relative standard deviation, or RSD, of the average value, which shows how repeatable and reliable that titrant concentration is. I touch the Run Third Cycle prompt to start the third titration of the standard. After the third titration cycle, I'm done, and I select Complete. In the summary screen, I can see the calculated concentration values from the three cycles, the average value and the percent RSD. The standardization results are automatically saved to the titrant logs. When I view the standardization report, the details and results are present as shown here.